going to show you how to upload images using your file manager in cPanel. Um, most of you who have cPanel accounts are at least um, accustomed to creating email accounts or using some of the functions in here. We're going to be using the file manager which is underneath the files section and the default settings are going to be fine here. So it has put me into the root directory of my website and which no, it's not my Zen cart, but it is. It does have an images directory, which your Zen cart does. So if your cart is in the root directory, then you'll have an images folder. Double click on that, and you want to upload an image. Browse, find an image. Now, what I prefer to do is while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Control C on a PC and that actually makes me have to hit the open button twice but um, it, yeah it was already on there so I say yes upload it right here underneath here what you can't see is it says a uh, completed upload click on here we go back to the directory and um, our little visa flag is then installed so pull up notepad or something else and paste in the name of the image. Type in the rest of the path to your image, which is, in my case, it's in the root. So I can use that forward slash at the very first of images. So, and, and this will allow you to be able to see your image while you're in Zencart. If your cart is not in the root directory, it is impossible without using the entire full URL to see your images in the directory. But you don't want to use the full URL because, unless you, well, for several reasons. Main reason is for, um, if your cart goes to the secure mode, you don't want to have that page um, throwing a security error because the image isn't secure. So um, if you put it in without the forward slash, you can it will still work. You just can't see it in admin. So um, then copy the entire thing uh, and place it into the image dialog in your HTML or WYSIWYG editor. Um, this is one of the easiest ways to um, upload images or anything else to your website without an FTP editor. So if you have a cPanel, I would definitely suggest you learning more about your cPanel.